last thing I want to talk about today, I think, is um, Lawrence McKenna um, getting called out by Robbie. I think his name's Lyle. Robbie Lyle. I don't um, know. The guy that hosts Arsenal Fan TV. The guy who watches football for a week as a job. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. That was my main point, right? So, so Robbie... Do you know about this, Stevie? I don't know the situation. I know the people. Yeah, so Robbie, um, the, the guy who runs Arsenal Fan TV and hosts it and that, he's done a podcast where he sat down, I think it's called the All DT, Guns yeah. Blazing with DT, podcast, it? with DT, um, a, a, and he's ripped into Lawrence McKenna, who's obviously True Geordie's sidekick, um, apparently. Um, it's the at, funniest fucking video ever. It goes like, in on him. It's like watching somebody trying to insult somebody, but like, it's like they don't actually know him. It's just like, you know, is that Lawrence McKenna? Just not a talented guy. I'm just like says the no guy. No offense to Brian, but Lawrence McKenna, he's the talented one yeah. when it comes to like videography, running EXO. All Lawrence, yeah, it's all Lawrence. Well, that well, stuff. in the video, Robbie does give him credit and say he's very, very good at editing. Well, he goes he's from good... he's not a very talented guy to actually he's really good at all of this stuff. Yeah, uh, Brian is the personality, which is the key. Mm. But uh, that's that's a talent in itself and a, and a very. It's a very useful talent, for example. Me and Jack are personalities, and I don't know what you do. <laughs> I was going to say, say you're I don't like, know your name. Like, you're like our Lawrence, but Lawrence actually, Lawrence can do all the behind the scenes work. Yeah. Well, you set all the cameras up, actually, so you yeah. are exactly. Lawrence. Exactly, I yeah. am. You're, you're the Lawrence. You are the Lawrence. The Jack didn't even know what an Ethernet cable did. You know, didn't. You had to explain that to him. Yeah, actually, Still you don't. are Lawrence. <laughs> Still trying to work it out. You but are got the Lawrence. Of, of the, the true Geordie ones I've watched, I've always enjoyed Lawrence. I think input. Lawrence is a good... Pa- but the point is that he's trying to say he's not a personality. That was the... Uh, but the why? Why did he do this video about Lawrence? Because Lawrence keeps on... Saying that Arsenal fan TV is wank. So, <laughs> so let me let again, and and I think we know that my loyalties lie very much with Brian and Lawrence, and Love I'm, those boys. I, I'm friends with them guys, and we're not Arsenal fans. Uh, yeah, and I'm not Arsenal it. fans, and I think Arsenal fan TV are very very cringy bastards. And we shoot right? this in Highbury. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> we're gonna get Don't let people know that. We're gonna get we're BT out there trying to fucking fight us at half time. Um, no. <laughs> Because because there was a vi- video, went video where he tried to fight somebody on his kid's Sunday league team. Yeah, he ran on. Fam, 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 blood, blood. Yeah, he's a twat. Anyway, right, now I've got to go back to not being biased, right? So if I'm going to sit on the fence, <laughs> sit luck. on the fence after just explaining that, I will say I have seen Lawrence in um, podcasts and on videos before where he takes the piss out of Arsenal fan TV. Heavily. Heavily. And he rips them, right? I don't think there's anything wrong with that because I, I would do this as well. Who right? does Lawrence support? He's a Liverpool, Liverpool fan. Okay, so right? it's not a but, but I think player. it's irrelevant to what team it is. I think it's just how, how cringy... The... His point is is that they make the club look like a joke. Yeah, yeah. Which he's got a fair point. Which is fair, yeah. But what I want to say... But they already were a joke, so... Is because he keeps going in on them, boom, 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 every now and then, as much as I agree with the points or may not agree with the points, whatever... Now that person has clapped back, because if you think uh, Robbie Lyle's created this from nothing, right? And that's his baby. So whether or not we think it's a uh, fucking Magic. load of shit or whatever it is, which should do, he's got the right not to be... Biased. He's got, <laughs> He's got the right to be protective over this, yeah? Yeah, so, of course he does. So if he wants to clap back at Lawrence, fair fucking play to him. Like, that's his platform. I think I co- I've constantly been known to go in on the same YouTuber and over and over again. If they were to clap back at me, I, I don't think I'd sit there and I go, wow, love, wow, this is on. I love when YouTubers, commentary channels, make a video on somebody and they respond and they go, what? Yeah. I'm like, you're yeah. a fucking idiot. It's fair game. It's fair game. And, it, and I think he did it on his podcast. One thing I would say is I don't know how somebody that just talks about, oh, Wenger in, Wenger out, and essentially gain subscribers on that, has the audacity to call anyone else talentless. Also, saying that Brian built Lawrence's career because I'm not trying to put Brian down in this. I think, at all. I think they both Brian, built each other. They're both other fucking up. incredible, and they and they are so lucky to have found each other. Yeah, they're they're, they're uh, a good match. Those two make make the podcast what it fucking is. Yeah. So I think it's really unfair to say Brian could do it all himself because Brian wouldn't even say that. You know. Yeah. Like that. That's what makes the show. Those two. That's why the show is so good. Lawrence needs Brian just as much as Brian, Brian needs, needs Lawrence. Lawrence. Yeah, they're both they're both equally talented in different ways. That, but compliment each they're other. They're chalk and cheese. They're, Whereas, they're yin and yang. Yeah. So he's going, oh, it's all Brian. It's all Brian. And I was like, yeah, well, of he, course, you're not going to say anything rude about Brian. He he's definitely like, Brian's he's, a big he man. sucks up hard to Brian in this, right? And what, what you've got to remember is Lawrence might be running his mouth about Arsenal TV on the True Geordie podcast, yeah? Brian has the full say over what goes in uh, on. So if Brian thought that was a step too far or heavily, heavily disagreed with something, he, he, w- he wouldn't want it on his channel. Do you know what I mean? But so, also, so, my point as well is that 
Brian and Lawrence are a duo. Yeah. In the same way that, what's Arsenal fan TV, Robbie? Without any Arsenal fans, you fucking idiot. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you're like... going to sit there and like, nobody cares about what you have to say. They like you. You literally stand there and go, yeah, what do you think? What do yeah. you think yeah, about yeah. that thing? Yeah. I, what I say, nobody cares. Yeah. So it's like, you are, you are Lawrence. Yeah, yeah. You're Lawrence. You are Lawrence, yeah. mate. But, but Lawrence is kind of irreplaceable in the fact that he's the only one that could compliment Brian that well, I believe. Whereas R- Robbie, you could fuck him off and get anyone you else could get in. get anybody you could in. Get anyone. The characters, as much as I hate to say this because I think he's a fucking idiot, the DT bloke and that, he's funny because we laugh at him. Do you know what I mean? Like, So you kind of need characters like that because whether you love him or you hate him, you still watch because you're interested you in might what this fool has to like, say. Robbie should be replaced with like Ganduzi or somebody so they could actually do something <laughs> yeah. for Arsenal. <laughs> Just, be a bit productive. It, Bring one of the youth players in. It's just, it's just very, very ironic that one guy who runs Arsenal TV is calling Lawrence McKenna talentless. Whether or not you think Lawrence is the most talentless guy on the planet or not, you run Arsenal fan TV, and I feel like I can say that because I'm not saying I'm talented. No, I <laughs> ran sports. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> but you have this exact same thing with your Ellie Golding beef. Like you're, you're telling a woman that can't sit, that she can't sing. I you can't think, sing. <laughs> but I'm, I, yeah, I guess so. But I'm still, I'm still entitled to my opinion just as much as he is. Yeah. But I think you need to be self-aware in the fact that, come on, mate. Like we're all YouTubers. We sit in a fucking room every Monday and talk about YouTube. We're not. Well, we're not... It has, if the criticism is, well, it's not even criticism. He's trying to insult him. Uh, but it's like anybody who watches that. I'm like, all right, okay. So Lawrence has pissed you off. All right, convince me that Lawrence is a dickhead, and he's got his, he's not talented. And I go, that's a lie. So. Now I'm just more convinced than what Lawrence says. About, Lawrence says about you. Yeah. Man. Like, but I, I think I think one of the points is he said he doesn't like how Lawrence because they meet each other a lot and they cross paths because they're working in the same industry. And Lawrence is apparently nice to his face, and he says he's sick of it now because he's every time. But he's... you can like I could be nice to you. Like if you upload a video and I think it's awful, I'll just tell you. Yeah. But like I can be nice to you as a person. That's yeah. nothing to I do saw, with what you I do saw online. KSI the other week, and when I went up to him, I didn't go up to him and go. Let's have a fucking conversation about your shit YouTube videos. Let's have a fucking go. Oh, yeah, because yeah, I like his videos. But uh, yeah. I just disagreed with the fucking Christmas Day stuff. No, we just fucking laughed at each other. And But I, ben, I, will, I, I will say, oh, do you want to talk about it? Well, I never use that as an opener. Yeah. Because I think people would be fucking threatened by me or pretty uncomfortable. If I come up to people and went, if I met somebody, I see someone I've done a video on it. If I, and also, that makes you a fucking prick if you do do this. If you if you're somebody you see somebody you've like got in on the internet, like if I saw Ali Golding in person, if you saw Ali Golding, and the first thing you just z- walk up right up to go, your music shit. Mm. Why would you want to fucking talk to in the first place? It's like just bring it up with him, you yeah. fucking idiot. Because it also means that you're not bringing up what he's doing. But to like you, un- are you? Uh, until this guy goes up to Lawrence and says, "What's your problem with it?" Lawrence is gonna be nice because he's got no reason to not be nice to a person. He's he hates yeah, the Arsenal show fan Arsenal t- fan you're TV. an Arsenal fan TV I don't really think he he's, he cares too much mate right? yeah uh, it's, he's it's... not even an Arsenal fan but also uh, one of the things I want to talk about is the specific clip that pushed Robbie over the edge right what um, was it it's a reaction video what where Brian that? pulls the video up yeah Brian takes the piss out of it right with Lawrence Right. That's the video. And then he, and then he, he's almost sort of like, oh, I don't want to say anything about Brian. Brian takes the piss and laughs at every joke that Lawrence makes in tears. Almost, he found it that funny yeah. because it's a Sunday league game that they're doing, but they've been like, everybody's been waiting for this moment, and it cuts like DT on the sideline, and it's like Arsenal so and so versus so and so so and so, and it's like two like almost like it would be like if. You know the Wembley Cup where it's like, everybody's been waiting for this moment. XO versus the FT. Yeah. Everybody's going, no, we haven't. <laughs> uh, it, it's like that. So they, they were taking a piss out of like how they basically taken themselves too seriously. Yeah. Um, With Brian, it's a dual reaction video, you know, yeah. like, because Lawrence doesn't do anything without Brian and vice versa. Yeah. So it's like, yeah, it, it was the most stupid video. Cause it wasn't just like Lawrence said on the podcast, oh, it's a shit show. And Brian goes, all right, let's move on to the next topic. No, they sit there and just rip into them yeah. for like five minutes. So I feel like, Robbie, if you are going to go in on, on Lawrence, just going on Brian. Just be a man and go in on both of them. Yeah. But he's just a bit worried, isn't he? So Brian's untouchable. Yeah. I feel like the Brian in this with Keemstar, he slagged you two off, left me out of it because he's scared. 
Yeah. And You're the Brian of the I podcast. Am... Now I'm Brian. I'm... Or he just didn't know your name. <laughs> <laughs> or he just didn't know you were on here. Yeah. <laughs> 